I look at fragrance as an art form similar to music. It's very ephemeral. You hear the music and it's gone. I came to New York in the 50s and was very interested in becoming a fashion editor because I'd studied journalism at uh, NYU. And I got a job with a magazine called American Druggist because they had no opening on Harper's Bazaar. So I was pretty unhappy about that, but I took the job. And suddenly I found myself more interested in the beauty industry than in the fashion industry. I started to study the market and I realized very quickly that American women in the late 50s did not wear fragrance in America. And women only wore fragrance on Saturday night when they put a little bit there, wore a black dress and a string of pearls. And I tried to convince them through PR and, and marketing that they can't wear a sexy fragrance to work anymore, they'd wear a sexy gown. And slowly but surely they accepted that and that encouraged the houses to create more fragrances. What I started to see was that fragrance actually had a psychological effect on people. And that led me to eventually have a deep commitment to the study of the sense of smell. I was sitting in Paris thinking, what can I do to bring this industry into the world that I see? It suddenly occurred to me that they should be getting awards because it's, it is very artistic. The bottles are gorgeous. Uh, they definitely belong in the art world, but it, it was not called the Fifi at all. That John Leeds named it that many years later. It was just the Fragrance Foundation Recognition Awards. That was the beginning of the growth of the foundation and the industry. Everybody ups their game when there's going to be awards presented. And I think to acknowledge excellence, we all want to be acknowledged as doing something that's excellent. What disturbs me is that it, it isn't really rolled out to the consumer. I mean, I imagine that in the movie world, that they, these companies didn't have ads that ran, that the, their, their films were up for awards. That never happens. In fact, I have a lot to say about that in my book. It took me about three years to write the book. I keep everything, so I had all my research. <laughs> all I had to do was dip into my files to remind myself. It just seemed to me it was a good idea to lay out what I did and how I did it and its impact on the consumer, the fragrance industry, and people's perception of odor, science, I've had a number of exhibitions in museums, so it's art, I was, and also to promote women. Well, I hope that my personal legacy will continue to inspire in whatever industry, not just the fragrance industry. I mean, the fragrance industry has always been a leader in creativity because of the nature of the product. But if you're a creative person, nobody has what you have. Passion is number one. You have to have the passion for it. And when you have that passion, then you have to dedicate your life to it. I mean, I dedicated my life to it. I did it willingly, pleasurably. I never regretted. It was my avocation and my vocation. Mm -hmm.